Water vapor thermal therapy, resume, for enlarged prostate and lower urinary symptoms. This is Jared J. Wallen, MD, board certified urologic surgeon and men's sexual health specialist. You can find me at mhurologytriad.org, at jjwurology at twitter.com, or at Jared J. Wallen at facebook.com. This slide depicts anatomical considerations for enlarged prostate or benign prostate hypertrophy, the syndromes that cause lower urinary tract symptoms. On the left hand side of the screen you can see the hyperplastic tissue on the inside of the urethra channel from overgrowth of the prostate compressing the urethral tube. On the right hand side of the screen you can see the path that fluid moves all the way from the bladder to the tip of the penis. Enlarged prostate, benign prostate hypertrophy, and lower urinary tract symptoms is a common problem. As many as 50% of men over the age of 40 years old will have some sort of symptoms from this. Symptoms can include things like the following, slow or intermittent stream, urgency or frequency of urination, urinary tract infections, bladder stones, prostate bleeding, urinary retention or incomplete emptying, dribbling, nocturia, The morning of your procedure, you should eat a light breakfast and drink approximately 20 ounces of water prior to coming to your visit. You should take all your normal medications unless you plan to stop your blood thinners with your surgeon. You should also arrive 45 minutes early with your ride. This allows our team to most efficiently complete your visit. Once you have been checked in, assessed, and signed your consent form, you will be given a muscle relaxer, a dose of antibiotics per guidelines, and a ultrasound guided injection of numbing medication in the area surrounding your prostate. This is a cartoon picture of how the procedure works. The white shaft in the middle of the screen is the camera telescope and the needle is directed towards the right side as you can see towards the top of the screen. Uh, we deliver uh, nine second treatments of steam along the length of the channel starting at least one to one and a half centimeters from the bladder neck which is at the top of the screen all the way to the end of the prostatic urethra. This is done on both sides of the channel and the steam transfers heat to the tissue which essentially ablates or kills the tissue and then over a period of 4 to 12 weeks the body's normal processes remove this dead tissue. This portion of the video depicts a transrectal or truss ultrasound of the prostate. As you can see the prostate appears in the picture here, the bladder is above. The left portion of the prostate is smaller than the right portion of the prostate on the right side of the screen as you can see here. This is the urethral channel. The right side appears to be a little bit larger, possibly related to a large median lobe of the prostate. The technician will then continue by taking measurements of the prostate to determine the size and then identify the junction between the prostate and seminal vesicles. At this point, ultrasound guided injection of local anesthesia or local numbing medication in the area of the prostate is performed. This is to ensure adequate pain control during the procedure and for the first few days afterwards. And finally on to the resume procedure, you can see in the upper right hand portion of the screen the cystoscopic view as we slide through the urethra into the prostatic urethra and up into the bladder. 
you can see we pull back into the prosthetic urethra and identify the hyperplastic tissue for treatment. In the left bottom portion of the screen, you can see myself, the surgeon, directing the camera and needle in appropriate directions to deliver the steam treatments. The steam treatments are delivered in one centimeter intervals along the length of the prosthetic urethra to the entirety of the hyperplastic nodular tissue. Each treatment lasts 9 seconds and transfers energy in the form of steam to the tissue. This ablates or kills the tissue and through normal body processes this is removed. Up to 15 treatments can be delivered in one setting. This is mainly determined by the prostate size and the length of the prosthetic urethra. A temporary Foley catheter is placed at the end of the procedure. Afterwards, the Foley catheter is in place for as short as three days. This is an office-based and outpatient procedure. The patient is discharged home the same day. They are requested to perform only light-duty activities for approximately one to two weeks, and the numbing agent may last for up to three days to cover the majority of pain control. Other general things you can do to help speak along your post-procedural recovery are eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, making sure you're getting 7-8 to eight hours of sleep a night, drinking up to 8-10 to 10 glasses of water a day, using Tylenol or Ibuprofen as needed for any minor pain, and making sure to have cardiovascular activity such as walking approximately 40 minutes every day. Studies have shown equivalent efficacy to TERP and green light laser ablation of the prostate at relieving urinary symptoms. We expect approximately a 50% reduction in AUA symptom score or IPSS. Studies have shown great durability up to 4 years, with less than 10% of patients starting a new medication or having a second procedure performed. In the initial clinical trials, there have been no new cases of erectile dysfunction, there has been normal orgasmic function after this procedure, and low rates, less than 5% of ejaculatory dysfunction.
Water vapor thermotherapy can be performed on patients whom are unable to stop blood thinners. It can also be performed on patients who are not safe to be put to sleep or do not want to be put to sleep for a surgical procedure with general anesthesia. Thank you for watching our video on water vapor thermotherapy, Resume, for enlarged prostate and lower urinary symptoms. This is Jared J. Wallen, MD, board certified urologic surgeon and men's sexual health specialist. Again, you can find me at mhurologytriad.org, at jjwurology at twitter.com, or at jaredjwallen at facebook.com. Have a blessed evening.